Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 3. So, the last episode ended on the guys going on the North Pole, Henny being super upset that Leonard is going, <laughs> drama's rising, and I'm so here for it. Well, I think I have nothing else to say and I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today. So, let's talking guys, let's get started. Three months later! Oh my god, I really see this! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Sheldon is identical! Uh, Only what, the mustache? The beard? <laughs> frozen hell. <laughs> it was like a snowy nightmare from which there was no awakening. Oh my god! I don't know what Arctic expedition you guys were on, but I thought it was a hoot oh and a half. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't have it on my list to see them <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, I told you I'd call you when I got home. I'm not home yet. Home I'm surprised they, they still friends after Dr. this Hawk. three months trip. <laughs> I'm gonna go let Penny know we're back. Hello, old friend. <laughs> home, oh, sweet home. <laughs> Daddy's home. Leonard, you're back. Yeah, I just Gosh, I would be surprised to see the... Oh, what? What? Hey, At least let me have a so shower. Hot, <laughs> oh, I feel you guys. What the hell just happened? Damn it, I should have gone over and told her we were back. <laughs> yeah, it was first come, first serve. <laughs> Well, I do not I just expect want you both that. To know. When I, I do not expect my findings, Penny I won't kiss Leonard straight away. Uh, I thought Grace. maybe they'd be like, oh, I missed you. Of course, you. I can't mention you on my you Nobel except <laughs> each, but when I get around to writing my memoirs, you can expect a very effusive footnote. You have to tell him. Tell me what? Ooh, what? Damn his Vulcan hearing. <laughs> you fellas are planning a party for me, what aren't happened? you? What happened? What happened? Okay, Sheldon, sit down. I don't know. I don't feel yeah, good about we'll this. We'll keep that in mind. Look. We need to talk to you about something that happened at the North Pole. If this is about the night the heat went out, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> so what? we slept together naked. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it was only to keep our Forget core body that. temperatures from I plummeting. I never heard what he said. First few weeks we were looking for magnetic monopoles and not finding anything, and you were acting like an obnoxious giant dictator. But I thought we were going to be gentle with him. That's why I added the tater. And when we finally got our first positive data, you were so happy. Oh, yes. In the world of emoticons, I was colon oh, capital no, D. Oh, no, I feel like what? Did they fake it? I feel like they, like, fake it. Well, <clears throat> in actuality, what your that equipment it's happened. detected wasn't so much evidence of paradigm-shifting monopoles as it was static from the electric can opener we were turning on and off. <laughs> That's what I thought. He just went full and got <laughs> because our expert in faking stuff <laughs> or you erasing with my them. experiment. We had to. It was the only way to keep you from being such a huge Dickensian. See that I oh, added Dickensian. Oh, that's Dickensian. sad. One well, three months from nothing. Leonard's my best friend in the world. Surely Leonard didn't know. Actually, it was his idea. Of course it was. The whole plan reeks of Leonard. <laughs> I, I missed you so much. Oh my god, I literally I they probably like just arrived from like the airport plane and everything else. Like you never mm. shower. Right uh. when out. <laughs> Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. Do not make a sound. Whispering, do not make a sound. <laughs> yeah, he's hearing is is really sound. good. Damn his Vulcan hearing. I realize you're currently at the mercy of your primitive biological urges, but as you have an entire lifetime of poor decisions ahead of you, may I interrupt this one? <laughs> Wallow, it has informed me of your grand deception. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I will never forgive myself. I don't expect you to either, and I would really appreciate it if you would leave me with Penny for a session of self-criticism and repentance. <laughs> is I was led to believe I was making groundbreaking strides in science when, in fact, I was being fed false data at the hands of Wallowitz, Kutherpali, and your 
furry little boy toy. It was the only way to make him happy. Yes, but the actual results are unsuccessful. And I've already sent an email to yeah, everyone at the university explaining time. that I have confirmed string theory and forever changed man's understanding of the universe. And this oh, happened. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so write another email, set the record straight, it's no big deal. All you did was lie to me, destroy my dream, and humiliate me in front of the whole university. Aww. Hey, do you want to talk? About what? Being betrayed by my friends? Spending three months at the North Pole for nothing? And I didn't even get to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> oh, the Comic-Con. I'm sorry, oh. Sheldon. Sorry. Oh. That's for when I'm sick. Sad is not sick. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know your sad song. I don't have a sad song. I'm not a child. <laughs> of course. Oh, of course. Well, you know, I do understand what you're going through. Uh, when I was a senior in high school, one of my friends heard I was going to be named head cheerleader. Oh, I was so excited. My mom even made me a celebration pie. Then they named stupid Valerie Mossbacher head cheerleader. Are you saying... Oh. Lucky Did you think crying. a celebration That's pie so is even remotely comparable to a Nobel Prize? And on a different but not unrelated topic, based on your current efforts to buoy my spirits, do you truly believe that you were ever fit to be a cheer leader? <laughs> Look, Sheldon, I just don't think that the guys and, and Leonard really meant to hurt you, you know? Okay, you know what it's like? Remember the scene in the new Star Trek movie when Kirk has to take over the ship? Oh so my god, Baby's on fire with true, like, all of those Spock references, like movie references. I missed Comic Con and the new Star Trek movie. Oh, what? <laughs> I like the new look. Oh my Thanks. god. No, you look even creepier than before. I call it the Clooney. No. <laughs> I call it the Mario and Luigi, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he does. Hey, how's Sheldon doing? Probably, well, yeah. He came out of his room this morning wearing his Darth Vader helmet and tried to choke me to death with the Force, so I'd say a little better. Sheldon, over here. Aww. <laughs> what are you doing? I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> Come on, we said we were sorry. It's going to take more than an I'm sorry and a store-bought apology pie from Penny to make up for what you've done to me. Hey, Koopa. Wait, you would twax an email. Way to destroy your reputation. <laughs> you see? Aww. People have been pointing and laughing at me all morning. People have been pointing and laughing at you your whole wife. Attention, everyone. Aww. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper. As many of you in the physics department might know, my career trajectory has taken a minor detour. Off a cliff. I would like to remind you that in science, there's no such thing as failure. Well, I really feel so bad. So much for our friendship for Sheldon. with Sheldon. Hi. Hey, listen, since we got, you know, interrupted last night, I didn't have a chance to give you this. Oh, oh Leonard, you shouldn't have. <laughs> it's a snowflake from the North Pole. Are you serious? <laughs> It'll That's last forever. I preserved it in a one percent solution of polyvinyl acid resin. Well deserved. Oh, this is alert, Sheldon ran away. Man, I cannot catch a break. <laughs> yeah, he's not answering his phone. He handed in his resignation at the university, and he sent me a text that said, "I'm running away." <laughs> Aren't you gonna do something? Uh, well, of course I'm gonna do something. Uh, but after <laughs> Howard, you check the comic book store. Raj, go to the Thai restaurant. I'll stay here with Penny in her apartment. Oh damn it! This is Sheldon. It's Sheldon's mother. <laughs> oh, it's Sheldon's a mom. Break can... Sheldon went home to Texas. Aww. No, no, no. You're you're right. Someone needs to come talk to him. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Yeah, Howard, you and Raj go to Texas. I'll stay here with Penny in her apartment. <laughs> No, you should go. Well, you know, He's your friend. Gave, come on, I don't want to go to Texas. Wait a second, Leonard. Come on, how can you not go? He's your best friend. Well, well I already saw him naked. Just come here. No. <laughs> I you. promise I will be here when you get back. Just go help Sheldon. Boy. You cannot catch a break, can you? <laughs> here you go, Shelly. Thanks, Mom. Hold your horses, young man. Here in Texas, we pray before we eat. Oh, Mom. This is not California land of the heathen. Please know that we are truly grateful for every cup and every plateful. Amen. 
Thank you for carving a smiley face in my grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, well, I know how oh, to take care of my cute. baby. Oh, that's cute. That's what you get <laughs> for coming back home to mama. So, do you want to talk about what happened with you and your little friends? They're not my friends. All right. No, they are. Come on. We sat right here at this very spot. We talked about some of the problems you had getting along with the neighbor kids. It was different. They were threatened by my intelligence and too stupid to know that's why they hated me. <laughs> oh, baby, they knew very well why they hated you. <laughs> oh, my God, Howard, what the hell? <laughs> Can't believe you bought a red cowboy hat. These Hello, guys I'm wearing a red else. turtleneck. I'm sorry, this does not look like Texas. Where's the tumbleweeds? Where's the saloons? This neighborhood is more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What can I tell you? They probably have steaks on sale at that big-ass Costco over there. <laughs> you should have left him in a car. Can you please take that stupid hat off? <laughs> no, I want to blend in. Oh, my God, I bet children's mom is going to laugh at him. Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> Boys. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy to you, too. You got here quick. Uh, we took the red eye. Well, come on in. Thank you kindly. There's no alcohol in this household. Stop talking like that and lose the hat. <laughs> Good. Sorry. I'll take a diet, you who, if you have it. You'll take a Coke. <laughs> what about you? Ranch, is it? Oh, you still having trouble talking to the ladies? Uh, if you don't mind, Mrs. Cooper, there's a 305 nonstop back to Los Angeles, and you have no idea how much I want to be on it. A girl? Uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, good. I've been praying for you. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's gonna switch. I'm praying for all of them. <laughs> Sheldon! What are they doing here? Well, we came to apologize. Again. And bring you home, so why don't you pack up your stuff and we'll head back? This is my home now. Thanks to you, Aww. my career is over. And I will spend the rest of my life here in Texas trying to teach evolution to creationists. You watch your mouth, Shelley. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Evolution isn't an opinion, it's fact. And that is your opinion. <laughs> I forgive you, let's go home. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> Don't tell me prayer doesn't work. How about that? Finally caught a break. <laughs> so wait, it happened. <laughs> you know how they say when friends have sex, it can get weird? Sure. Why does it have to get weird? I don't know. I mean, so wait, you, you better be together now. We're friends, and now we're more than friends. It is what it is. And... Leonard? Yeah? It's weird. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't you think if I were wrong, I'd know it? That's uh, true. Okay, first of all... Give it up, dude. You're arguing with a crazy person. Uh, I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> hey, guys. What are you doing here? What do you mean? It's new comic book night. Yeah, but since you and Benny finally hooked up, we thought you two would be having bouncy, naked, yum-yum night. I guess they don't know what the hell is going on between okay, them. Okay, who so... had the flames out? We don't have to have sex every night, you know. You don't have to, but it's highly recommended. We're getting to know each other. There's a learning curve. What's there to learn? You get naked, do nasty things to each other, then somebody makes scrambled eggs and salami. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, perhaps what Leonard is obliquely referring to is the occurrence of some sort of sexual dysfunction. Okay, who had Leonard gets a floppy disk? <laughs> oh, a clever, albeit obsolete, euphemism for insufficient blood flow to the male sex organ. <laughs> ah, Nothing not. like that happened, all right? The sex was just fine. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying it wasn't great. Okay, when you say it wasn't great, do you mean for both of you? Because we could totally what? see it not being great for her, am I right? Oh, yeah. To tell you the truth, I think we were both a little... I don't know. Disappointed? Let down? Ashamed? Horrified? Repulsed? All I know is it wasn't the way I dreamed it would be. Sheldon, dinner's here. So hopefully it's just not going to be no, weird, we you know, in their group. The thing between Leonard and Penny. Ribbing so me, everybody you? will be cool with it, no, you know? No, just let Alice. them, Why? you know, go with the flow Why? and sort of things. We had a perfectly good palace. Tandori Palace is our palace. <laughs> Trust me, this will be just fine. <sighs> You are the authority. I'm just fine. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Not exactly. Not bad, but not great. <laughs> oh my God. 
Why would you do what that? What are they talking about? I don't know. I know, as I'm sure da, you're da, 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 da. If that's Morse code, that's terrible. <laughs> As I was saying, you and Leonard had a disappointing oh sexual my encounter. God. Well, earlier That's... this evening, Leonard characterized it as just fine. So what you're seeing here is a continuation of the mocking that followed. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna go eat my dinner That's elsewhere. Maybe an airplane for your mom's side. I would just jump <laughs> Honey, out wait. of the window. Uh, what is wrong with you? Yeah, like why would you do that? I sense I may have crossed some sort of line. Yeah, like hundred yeah, percent. Uh, don't tell. Let's see if he can figure it out. Come on, Shalom, you're a genius. I'm so embarrassed. Please don't be mad. What did you tell them? Nothing bad, just that last night was fine. Let me ask you this. How was last night for you? It was okay. Okay? Yeah, so okay and fine? Yeah, it's, it's a perfectly good word. I mean, you put it in front of okay and you really got something. <laughs> All right, look, let's not overreact. You know, for a lot of couples, it takes time to get to know each other's rhythm. Well, so you're Learn what the now. other person wants and likes. You know, I think this is one of those things where talking about it is not going to make it better. Want a glass of wine? So much. Okay. See, we should have done this last night, you know? Have a little wine, take the edge off. Actually, ethyl alcohol inhibits electrical conduction in the nerve cells. Don't talk, just drink. <laughs> Oh, the snore. You're nice. Is this it? It was inappropriate to discuss Leonard and Penny's sex life in front of Leonard and Penny. Well then. Oh, <laughs> cricket? What's that? Sounds like a cricket. Hang on. What are you doing? Based on the number of chirps per minute and the ambient temperature in this room, it is a snowy tree cricket. Oh, this you guy need a freaking break. How could genius. you possibly know that? Inc In 1890, like Emile Dolbear determined that there was he a fixed everything. relationship everything. between the number of chirps per minute of the snowy tree Google. cricket and the ambient temperature, a precise relationship that is not present with ordinary field crickets. And I spent many childhood years capturing them with nets, putting them in glass jars, sticking pins through them, mounting them on corrugated cardboard with Dymo labels underneath identifying the genus and species. Marcel, I feel Sheldon is right. Oh, no, dude, because you are Sheldon. never getting a shit I'm willing to bet anything that's an ordinary field cricket. I can't take your money. <laughs> What's the matter, you chicken? Fair enough. What stakes do you propose? I will put up my Fantastic Four number 48 first appearance of Silver Surfer against your Flash 123, the classic Flash of Two Worlds issue. All right, you have a wager. It's a war. <laughs> Great. There is no way to determine the species of the cricket without examining it. Oh, they have to get it. <laughs> I wonder what the non-pathetic people are doing tonight. <laughs> Hallway. <laughs> One at a time. What was that? Right My stomach? <laughs> Indian food doesn't agree with me. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Oh no, someone's gonna climb. Inside. Help me open it. Oh, you think we can go down an empty elevator shaft? Fine. If you don't want to proceed, then you forfeit the bet, and I'll take possession of your Fantastic Four. Let's open her up. <laughs> oh my god. It's too much. What are we drinking now? Peppermint schnapps. Why would you buy peppermint schnapps? Because I like peppermint and it's fun to say schnapps. Oh. <laughs> hey, Leonard. What? Schnapps. <laughs> Schnapp. I think they're just gonna get right way too point. drunk. <laughs> I'm just gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, it's Sheldon there. Oh, God. Stairwell. Uh oh, flashlight went out. I need some batteries. <laughs> oh, no. Fellas, hello? That's it. <laughs> this is your new home. <laughs> it's really dark down here. <laughs> 
spiders too. <laughs> I knew really that it would hold your liquor, can you? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> what a romantic date. Oh, Toby, what did you do in a past life to be so disgusting now? His name isn't Toby. Toby is an absurd name for a cricket. What would you name him? An appropriate cricket name? For example, Jiminy? <laughs> All right, Sheldon, here we go. See it? The common field cricket, a.k.a. Gryllus assimilis, which is Latin for suck it, you lose. <laughs> Hang on. Voila, the snowy tree cricket, a.k.a. Ecanthus fultoni, which is Latin for I'll suck nothing. <laughs> this is Toby. Raj, what do you think? Oh, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> Do you have God, anybody who's studying night. insects? What happened? <laughs> Obviously another carnal fiasco with the Shixi goddess. We haven't established that I'm wrong once. All right, tell you what. Let's get down to the entomology department and let Professor Crawley tell us what kind of cricket Toby is. Yeah. He's a snowy it's tree easier. cricket, and his name is Jiminy. I bet I could throw a rock in this room and come up with three better friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I probably wouldn't end Holy there. Crap. Oh my God, he's in the spiders. <gasps> Why? No, no, like no, this is freaking the lands horror. Down here. No, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Don't do that. Interesting. Oh God, You're afraid of insects and women. Ladybugs must render you catatonic. <laughs> That's a good one. It was a joke. <laughs> I made it to lessen your discomfort. Oh, Shell is on fire. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Professor Crawley? Who wants to know? Us! I'm Dr. Cooper from the physics department. I haven't even packed yet, and you're already measuring my lab for one of your godless laser machines. Oh, what? No, you don't understand. We just want to ask you a question. Can you identify our cricket? Of course I can. I can identify every insect and arachnid on the planet. Well, could you look at Toby? <laughs> Toby? <laughs> Stupid name for a cricket. <laughs> Told you. It's a field cricket. Yes, just no, wait. Dr. Crowley, are you sure? Young man, I've been studying insects since I was eight years old. You know what they used to call me in school? Creepy Crawley. <laughs> Let me show you something. See that? That's a Crawley's dung beetle. I discovered it after spending six months slogging through the Bornean rainforests while my wife was back home shacking up with a two-bit ornithologist who lives on a sailboat and likes to wear boot-cut jeans. So when okay, I tell you not happy that that's a life, common though. field cricket, you can... I feel sorry for you. And you better go, guys. You better go. Well, apparently, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, Sheldon, that's Congratulations. it. <laughs> He's gonna cry, probably. <laughs> oh, hey, Sheldon. What you got there? A new comic book? Old comic book. I just retrieved it from my safe deposit box. I lost this to Wallowitz in an ill-considered cricket wager. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not feeling so hot either. Why would that make me feel better? <laughs> I don't know, empathy? I'm just saying that you're feeling upset about something with Howard and I'm upset about something with Leonard. Yes, yes, the disappointing sex. <laughs> oh my That's God. an inexact Sheldon. parallel. You and Leonard can always return to being friends, whereas I can never return to a state in which Wallowitz has not bested me like Mrs. Riley's chicken. What's Mrs. Riley's chicken? A chicken that was owned by Mrs. Riley. <laughs> okay, Think forget anything. the chicken. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Hello. Hey. What's going on? Oh, you'd like to catch up on the events of the day, all right? Well, <laughs> there was a half hour wait at the bank to get into my safe deposit box. I was forced to talk to Penny about your sexual problem. W wait a minute, you talked to Penny about our sex life? D Leonard, it astonishes me how you continually fixate on the trivial. I lost a bet to Wallowitz. <laughs> he doesn't care about your right. life. <laughs> You're saying you talked to Penny. Excuse me. Have I crossed some sort of line again? A little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Back to square one. 
Oh, who cares? Huh? I'm one thing if Sheldon said anything bad, you know? Oh, hey. hey uh, what did Sheldon say to you? Not a lot. Just that we always have the option of going back to being friends. Is that what you want? I don't know. I mean, I have to admit, things seem simpler when we were just friends. It would take the pressure off. It would, wouldn't it? So, we'll just be friends. Aww, no. I thought it would fit together. Come on. Just need to fight harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Easy. Okie dokie. <laughs> No. All right, want some French toast? It's oatmeal day. But tell you what, next French toast day, I will make you oatmeal. Dear Lord, are you still going to be here on French toast day? <laughs> Morning. Look, Leonard, Penny made French toast. Sorry, I haven't given her your schedule yet. It's an iCal <laughs> download. She can put it yeah, right in her has phone. Yeah, she for everyone. And I thought we agreed that you'd have your conjugal visits in her apartment. No, her bed kind of broke. That doesn't seem likely. Her bed's of sturdy construction. <laughs> Even the addition of a second normal-sized human being wouldn't cause a structural failure, much less a homunculus such as yourself. So one on this A homunculus? Perfectly formed miniature human being. Oh, you're my little homunculus. <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry. Okay, who wants syrup and who wants cinnamon sugar? I want oatmeal. Yes, well, I want a boyfriend whose roommate isn't a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm sure that will happen soon enough. <laughs> but in the meantime, I still want oatmeal. What am I supposed to do? Eat French toast on a Monday? Now that would be impossible. <laughs> I'm just saying you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You can catch even more flies with manure. What's your point? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Impossible. Boy, that does smell good. Too bad no, it's Monday. It. What? Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I'll cry. Okay, so Kim, the night manager, went on maternity leave. So yeah, Penny and Leonard, they like Sandy, right? officially so get this. boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, they try it again. Sandy, everything is, is going Kim. good, I, I see. <laughs> wow. Oh. Easily calculable. We begin by identifying the set of married couples <laughs> with unisex names. We look at the set has of It's an amazing coincidence. Are you finished? Well, thank you. How thoughtful. Would you like a chocolate? Um, oh, yeah, that's sure. Nice. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you said be nice to Penny. I believe Everybody offering chocolate just... to someone <laughs> falls within the definition of nice. It does, but in my experience, you don't. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's you, obnoxious and insufferable. <laughs> oh my god, hello! What's going on, day dwellers? Oh man, did the kiss army repeal don't ask, don't tell? <laughs> no, Raj and I are going to a goth club in Hollywood to hang with the night people. Anybody want to come along? Oh, wow, you're actually going out like that? No, no, I'm going out like this. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh, and what did you do? They're called tattoo sleeves, look! Fantastic, right? Put them on, have hot sex with some freaky girl with her business peers, take them off, and I can still be buried in a Jewish cemetery. You know, I've always wanted to go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga! <laughs> None of you ever see my practical jokes coming, do you? <laughs> Okay, how about you two? Look, I got some extra tat sleeves. Uh, yeah, I think we'll pass. Oh, is the missus speaking for the couple now? <laughs> Miss Case, you bet she is. Come on, I want to stop at Walgreens and pick up some more eyeliner. <laughs> Bye! No, I feel like they won't They're get They're gonna get beaten girls. up at that club. Yeah. They're gonna get beaten up at Walgreens. <laughs> Sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. Did you? 
I didn't know this. Have a chocolate. <laughs> He's Thank too you. nice. <laughs> or maybe, oh, I feel like the Ra Raj gonna get someone. It's always I like that. The they like trying, even back, him, Leonard, uh, Raj being somewhere, and Raj was the only one who got the girl in the end. So maybe it will be the same. Just remember, we are lost boys, children of the night. Great, lost boys, children of the night. Got it. Can you pass the checks mix, please? <laughs> Thank you. We are lost boys. Good for you. I'm actually much more lost than he is. <laughs> nice Showing thing. off the tattoo. Thanks. Can we buy you ladies a drink? I'm Howard. Raj. I'm Bethany. Nice to meet you, Bethany. Yes, very nice. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. I'm Sarah. Not that anyone cares. Aww, girl. Do either of you ladies enjoy the novels of John Grisham? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. What's this cartoon called again? Oshikuru Demon Samurai. <laughs> and it's not a cartoon, it's anime. Anime. You know, I knew a girl in high school named Anime. Anime Fletcher. Someone she was born with one nostril. <laughs> You're here a lot now. <laughs> Straight. Oh, am I talking boy. too much? Oh, I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Yes, please. <laughs> there is some dirty business there. Oh. Hey, Kim. Yeah, I... You know what? Hold on. Let me take this in the hall. <laughs> Leonard is okay. like, boss, what the hell is going on? I know what you're on? doing. Really? <laughs> yes. You're using chocolates as positive reinforcement for what you consider correct behavior. <laughs> Very good. Chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> nice. Sheldon is... Sheldon, you can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. <laughs> Actually, it turns out I can. <laughs> Yeah, by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. <laughs> no, this has to stop now. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes. Bad, Leonard. <laughs> Sheldon, what the hell? I meant, what do you do for jobs? Oh, we're scientists. So, yeah, you know, the dark sciences. <laughs> what are the dark sciences? Well, I am an astrophysicist, and a lot of that takes place at night. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Does it? Well, okay, if you like space stuff, I design components for the International Space Station, which is in space. Whereas I'm sure you know, no one can hear you scream. So what do you guys do? I work at the Gap. Really? How about that? I've been to the Gap. Yeah, I've been there as well. <laughs> what a I like the t-shirts with a bit of pocket. Now we have to get. I work go there out. too. Not that anyone cares. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Why don't we go somewhere else and have some fun? Okay, sure, we had fun with your... Come on, I know a place you'll really dig. Ooh! Did you bring the black condoms? Hit my fanny pack. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, now they're gonna get a real tattoo. Oh no. Are you no. happy now? <laughs> oh no. What are they gonna get? <laughs> Unless they're gonna run away. Oh my god. What could she possibly be talking about for so long? Obviously, oh, waitressing at the Cheesecake Factory is a complex socioeconomic uh, activity that requires a, a great deal of analysis and planning. Bazinga. <laughs> Using positive reinforcement techniques, I could train that behavior out of her in a week. If you let me use negative reinforcement, I can get it done before we go to bed. You're not squirting her in the face with water. We're talking very mild electric shocks. Oh my god. No tissue damage no whatsoever. <laughs> 
forget it. Oh, come on. You can't tell me that you're not intrigued about the possibility of building a better girlfriend. No, I'm not. <laughs> Penny's qualities, both good and bad, are what make her who she is. <laughs> you're not changing how Penny laughs. No, that would be incongruous. No, I was going to lower the whole voice to a more pleasing register. That girl is freaky. <laughs> You come again? Freaky. Freaky? Yeah, freaky. <laughs> chocolate! Oh my god. Have a chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> and it's crazy that it's like possible to do. Seriously, you're going to deface yeah, your you're body just for the tattoo. possibility you could have cheap sex with a strange girl you met in a bar? What is your mother going to say? She's not gonna see Can it. Can Master not she takes see my that he's orally now? That he's not real. Could have pointed out, like, what are you gonna I get, Howard? This? Well, I uh, can't really decide between a screaming devil, this mean little skull, or Kermit the Frog. Get the mean little skull. And I'll see if I can make him smile. Yeah, I'd like the mean little skull, please. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna get, Raj? With my luck, hepatitis. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ow, 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 ow. I'm putting on the stencil. What, what comes after the stencil? This. Okay, that's it. No needle, no pain, no tattoo. What's the big deal? You've done this before. No, I haven't. Look. I'm sorry, I'm a fraud, he's a fraud. We're both frauds. We're not goth, we're just guys. Very, very smart guys. So you're totally scamming us? Yes. Yeah. And I wouldn't blame you if you walked out of here and never wanted to see us again. Unless, of course, our bold honesty has suddenly made us attractive. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they're just gonna run away. I'm leaving. I'm leaving too. Not that anyone cares. When we tell the story, let's end it differently. What are you thinking? Maybe a big musical number? That would be cool. I'm going to make some warm milk and then turn in. I trust if you two are planning on engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum. Of course. Thank you. I was just thinking we should probably turn into. Oh, God. Well, you know, my new bed got delivered. If you come over and put it together, you can stay at my place. Yeah, but if we stay there, we won't have to be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> Interesting. Sex works even better than chocolate to modify behavior. <laughs> Don't offer <her> that. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has stumbled onto that. Okay, wait, how about this? We say there were four goth girls. The two girls in the club had two friends. I like it, I like it. Uh, did this smell good despite the goth-like nature? <laughs> What's that gotta do with well, the story? Well, they're providing the story Engaging to my tell everybody factory else. Sense helps make it real for me. <laughs> we got tattoos, and then the four girls took us to their place. But we don't have tattoos. What if someone asks to see our tattoos? We say they're in a very intimate area. Oh, we are bad boys, aren't we? <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> so we go back to their place, and then the six of us end up in a hot tub. But we just got tattoos. Wouldn't we be concerned about bacterial infection? True. Okay, forget the hot tub. The point is, we each had a menage with sexy goth girls. Wow. <laughs> no one's gonna believe night. it. No one. Yeah. You need help. <laughs> hey, wanna try a country bar tomorrow night? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get lucky with some sexy cowgirls. Could happen. <laughs> I wonder how they smell. Nice. So, wow, that was a wild ride, to be honest. <laughs> Guys coming back from the North Pole, and then Penny Leonard trying their relationship like 10th time already. <laughs> and I'm kind of happy for them, even though you know they try to be, you know, dating, then to be friends, then try to date again, and then what, Leonard left for three months, and maybe Penny realized that, you know, she has a really strong feelings for Leonard, and like, 
it showed even more you know after three months you know it just being awkward but they still you know stay together they realized they tried different stuff <laughs> so i guess everything is good now and then sheldon training penny this what i did not expect but it was kind of funny and just seeing leonard being like what the hell what's going on <laughs> It's just so funny. Every day, every story of these people is hilarious and I'm so here for it. And yeah, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!